All right, let's break down exploratory factor analysis or EFA and how rotations can make your results clearer. In EFA, rotation is used to refine the factor structure, making it easier to interpret. There are two main types of rotation, orthogonal and oblique. First up, orthogonal rotation. This type assumes that factors are uncorrelated. Think of it as each factor standing on its own. There are three main types of orthogonal rotation. Veramax, the most common one. It highlights high loadings, making your data easier to read. Quartamax, focuses on simplifying variables, maximizing the variance of squared loadings across factors. Equimax, a blend of Veramax and Quartamax, balancing simplicity between factors and variables. Now, let's switch gears to oblique rotation. Unlike orthogonal, oblique rotation allows factors to be correlated. This can be more realistic for many datasets. The main types are Promax starts with Veramax, then lets the factors correlate. Direct Oblimin produces correlated factors directly with an adjustable parameter to control the degree of correlation. Oblimax, similar to Direct Oblimin, but focuses on minimizing partial correlations. So, how do you choose the right rotation? It all depends on your data and theoretical expectations. If you expect factors to be independent, go with orthogonal rotation. But if you believe factors might be related, oblique rotation is your best bet. To sum it up, orthogonal rotation for uncorrelated factors includes Veramax, Quartamax, and Equimax. Oblique rotation for correlated factors includes Promax, Direct Oblimin, and Oblimax. Both methods aim to make your factor structure simpler and more interpretable. Got it? Great. Now you're ready to tackle EFA rotations like a pro. See you next time.